Hey guys, welcome back to Farm Life with Kids. Um, today is going to be a quick video, just an update on what I'm doing with all my fruit trees right now that it's winter. Um, I could have left some of them out um, because they are pretty hardy, like the apple. The apple tree is very hardy and it could have stayed outside, but I decided to bring them in just because they're my babies and I didn't want to go out one morning and have them all dead or whatever so I brought them inside um, of course the avocados are in here if you recall on one of my videos I'll link it below um, I showed you guys how how I had collected a lot of the avocado pits from um, avocados that I purchased from the store and I just put them in soil and here they are now they are so beautiful and as you can tell, I have them right on the windowsill in my green room, I would call it. So, um, yeah, they're doing great. The pineapple, I'm not sure how it's doing actually. Um, it is growing some leaves in the middle. Let's see if I can show you this one. You see that new growth right there? It's actually very slowly, but of course it's winter, so I don't expect much right now, but they're very slowly growing. Um, there's the peach right here, the smaller peach. Some of the leaves are falling off, which is totally normal. Um, there's an apple back there, pomegranate, pomegranate right here as well. Um, all of the back ones, let me get a better look. Um, all of these little ones are actually orange trees. Of course with citrus, you know, um, they don't grow true to seed. So um, this could very well turn out to be um, lemon or you know anything from the citrus family. But I did get the seeds out of um, delicious oranges that we ate in the summer. And they did take a while to germinate and I was almost giving up on them, but then they started popping up. So here they are now, they're doing great. Um, then this is another peach tree. This one, wow. This one got a lot of new growth that I did not even notice. I've been really busy, you guys. I, that's why I haven't filmed. Um, but yeah, so, wow, these, these leaves look pretty cute, okay. There's a lemon tree. There's another lemon tree. See some of them <clears throat> are showing some signs of, I guess, you know what it could be? I haven't watered them very much, which is okay when they're, you know, going through that cold period. But honestly, I haven't watered them in a long time. So this could be part of the, of them showing that, hey, you need to water us. But look at the leaves. They're curling a little bit. I need to water them. Um, here is my blueberry bush. I got this from Amazon. Um, there is two more over there, but they lost the, the leaves. Or most of them, let's see. This one lost all of their leaves. So, of course, with blueberries, that is what they do. It's a normal thing. Mm, they're young so it worries me I want to make sure they come back in the spring so you do have to keep uh, the water you know pretty constant not too much like you would in summer but you don't want to forget about them like I have either so this is an apple this is my struggling apple this guy has been struggling from the get-go but it's life so I'm not giving up on it there's another lemon right here. Interesting, they all have, all the lemons have a lot of new growth. It just kind of happened, I mean, I kind of haven't been in here to be honest, so I guess it didn't happen overnight, but there's that. Here's a little update on the mango trees. Of course, you guys probably saw the how to germinate the mango seeds. Um, that video has been doing pretty well, so I appreciate the views. Um, but yeah, these are the mango trees. 
These, are, you could, as you can tell, the lighter colored leaves are obviously the new growth. Um, they did have some leaf burn right here. Um, I think because I previously had them really close to a window and we are getting really low temperatures around um, mid 20s or so outside. I know it's not very low for some of you guys, but for our area it is. So it might have been that to cause that leaf to get like that. So I took them back and I put them in here. Um, this one lost all its leaves because of the curling that was happening. But if you can see right there, there's new ones coming. So we're sticking to this one. We're also um, doing very well on this one. Not a lot of growth, um, which again, is normal for this time of um, a year, you know. A little bit of burn right there. Um, there's a little bit of mold on this. Let's see. I'm just gonna move the soil around a little bit. And yeah, that'll be fine. Who knows, that might pop up or not, but again, I just leave it there, it doesn't bug me. Um, here's another one. So here is an apple tree from seed. Here is how it's doing. It's very tall. I would say is what, like four feet tall? Yeah, I think it's four feet right now. Um, it's doing great. Leaves looking good. Let's see the soil. Actually, yeah, it's more moist than I thought. You could see right there how wet it is, so that's good. Let's see, yeah, this one is the bigger avocado. These two are actually the two avocado plants, the bigger ones that I have. Um, so leaves are looking good. Um, everything looking good right here. Dead leaf right there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty moist, so... Um, if you are overwintering any of your trees like I am indoors, I would just say don't overwater. Remember that, um, you know, plants are supposed to go through some type of winter, some more mild than others, but you do want to kind of let them, you know, get a little cold and also um, not too much water. Just to kind of replicate what nature would be like right now um, without getting them exposed to um, too harsh frost or anything. So, yeah, um, this one's moist as well. See that right there? So that's good. I thought they were going to be more dry than this. So there's some leaves that fall off. This is another apple right here. This one's like three feet tall um, yeah there's moisture that's good here's my plum tree plum looking okay this one struggled so I changed the pot and to this one that I had an extra one because where I got this one from I didn't grow it from seed where I got it from I think they didn't use very good soil so I just wanted to give it some new fresh soil and it did take off after that. So, yeah. Here's another apple tree. I just can't believe how big they've gotten. It's just something about growing a tree, just any tree. Honestly, even without there being a promise that you're gonna get, you know, 
whatever fruit from it or anything like that. It's just something about growing a tree for me that is just so rewarding in a way that I cannot explain it. So, I mean, I know a lot of people um, say like, well, why are you growing that? You know you're not gonna get fruit from it or you might get crab apples from it. Um, you know, for me, it's more than that. It's just growing something and taking care of it and watching, you know, how your care, you know, has affected that plant. I don't know, it's just really rewarding. So, yeah, this is another apple. Um, look at all those, that's interesting. This is the only one that I see that on. All those little leaves, like right in between the bigger ones. That, is, that goes on all throughout the, hold on, let me get this one out of the way. All throughout the, the main branch. Huh, that looks kind of cute. Anyway, there's an apple. Um, this one I purchased from a nursery. This right here is my fig tree. Look at that. These just kind of fell off as I touched them. Um, figs do also drop all of their leaves. And this one did. The leaves are right there. Um, but it did give me some figs. Um, I think there was like uh, seven. Seven to ten figs that we got from here. And they were pretty tasty. It had been so long since I had had a fig. I think like 20 years or so. And this was awesome. I am so happy that I have this tree. Um, right now, obviously, is dormant. So, yeah. There's that right there. And these two right here are my loquat trees. Um, I really wish I would have grown these from seed. I looked around for some seeds so I could get them and grow them. Also, it's kind of hard for me to find um, loquat fruit in my market here where I live. For some reason, I don't know why. But um, anyways, I wasn't able to get my hands on some seeds. so. I found these two at a nursery nearby and I had to get them. I actually looked for them specifically and I got them and they are doing amazing. They are branching out. You see all those different branches right there. Um, there's another one right here and this one too. It's just doing great and I'm super excited. Um, they are so delicious. I've had loquat maybe in about, uh, I don't know, like five years ago, I wanna say. And I didn't know about this fruit until my husband introduced me to it. Um, his grandmother actually had loquat trees in her backyard. Well, in her front yard, actually. And we tried them um, one day and I was just hooked. They are such a delicious fruit and I don't know it's I don't know how to describe the taste it's just really really good interesting and different and so I'm really excited about these two trees but yeah that kind of concludes the mini tour of my fruit trees and how they're doing over the winter um, I'm super happy that they're in here and they're safe and of course um, you know, as you can tell, my setup, it's just simple. I have two big windows right here that they can get um, some sunlight from, as well as this right there, the skylight. Um, kind of helps a little bit. Today seems to be a more cloudy day, so not very much sun. I have the light on. But normally, like on a warmer day or, you know, a sunnier day, we get a good amount of sunlight from the windows. Um, I have them open all the time in here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get to subscribe down below if you haven't. And I definitely will be filming um, more often, hopefully. But thank you so much for the support. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.